Well, if I hover over this website and I scroll, you will see this button appears here that says scroll down. When I hover over it and I click on it, it will scroll down. And this is what the scroll down button is all about. Let me show you how I made that. I'm here in Elementor in my page and this is my placeholder for the scroll down button. And I'm going to search for scroll down, Ooh, scroll button. And I can drag it here. Now, in general, you can place it like a normal button, but any button can link to a section within your page. So for this one, I'm going to scroll down. Let's change the name first, button text to scroll down. And then that little icon there, let's make that one go down. So we go button icon angle uh, down, right. Now we need to assign it to a section. So if I go down here, let's say to this section here, and I click on the section, I give this section an ID. Go to advanced CSS ID, and I say section four. I'm just gonna call it section four. Did I spell that correctly? Yes, I did. And then for this button over here in the section ID, I have to say hash section four. Ooh, now I cannot spell section four. Good. So if I click on it now, it will take me down all the way to section four. And it says you don't need the hash. Read, my friend, read. Okay, there we go. And it scrolls all the way down. If that is too quick for you, you can play here with the duration in milliseconds. So let's say I want a two second scroll, which is 2000 milliseconds. Now it will scroll a little bit slower. Great. But like I said earlier, every button on Earth can do this. So the feature that comes in handy here is the placement of this button by going here to scroll button position and let's put it in the top left corner. Now, if I scroll, you will see it will appear here in this corner, which is not a good idea because it's not going to display well on your website. What you need to do is you need to give it a button offset. So I'm just going to give it a padding altogether of 40. Let's update it and then see how it will display on the front end. There it is. Maybe we can bring it down a little bit more from the top, unlink it, and then for the top, I'm going to double that to 80. Let's update. And let's go and view that. Nice. Now when I click on it, it will scroll down again like we did previously. You can style the button like you would style any other button. Go into there, and now I just need to get the button. Okay, so let's play around with the colors that we've got here for the background. I'm going to grab my color, and I'm going to grab this one, Control copy And then for background color, let's put that in there. And then the text color, we will keep white. For topography, let's go for Montserrat. And we are going to put the weight on 300 and transformation uppercase. Let's make it a little bit smaller around there. And letter spacing, I'm going to give it a little bit of spacing between the letters. If we hover over it, let's use another color. This one over there. So for the hover button background, And for the text, let's make it this one. And then we give it a button animation pulse grow. There you go, it will grow now. Let's go have a look again on the front end. How does it display? It doesn't appear immediately, but as you start scrolling, there it is. And now, once again, when I click on it, it will take me to my section. You can also add something like a go up element that you often see on sites. Let me show you how to do that. Again, look for scroll button. And I'm going to drag it no, just next to this one. And now what I will do with this baby is I will remove the button text. And I will remove this icon spacing over here, which is this spacing here completely. And then let's put it default position at the bottom center. And then we give this heading an edit section here. We give it a CSS. We call this our header. Then for this one, click on it and give it header. 
and let's go change the color background color to the one that we drew from earlier nice i like that okay shall we change the text color to dark okay yes that also looks good and now wherever you go on the page at the end of a section you will see this appear and when you click on it it will take you to the top and this opens a world of playing around with up and down up and down you can also go look at the features that they give on the bd themes website here is your scroll down there is the one that i just showed you with a little bit of offset scroll up fixed position over here in the bottom left hand corner scroll up and before icon position just shows you how the icon looks good and there is a few examples of what you can do with stylings this is the element pack add-on it includes wow all of these element add-ons for elementor both the pro and the free it is available by bd themes follow the link in the description below you can look at all the examples they have here and these ones that says new recently added weekly updates weekly new widgets added they just keep growing very difficult to keep track of everything that's going on in here and especially you can have a look at the third-party plugin widgets that they do support for elementor mailchimp instagram free uh, revolution slider yes there is a plethora of options that comes with this add-on pack at a very decent price this is JP with Websites for Beginners.